Imagine being able to have your birthday four extra times per year. I think that's pretty much what receiving a tool crate's like. Okay, so for those of you that are still uninformed as to what the incredibleness of what a tool crate is, here it is. The tool crate is a subscription service, not unlike the various other ones that currently exist, whether that be around makeup or toys or snacks or food or whatever you can get, usually month to month, usually 30 to $50 a month. This differs in that extent. It's not month to month, which is thankful considering the price. This actually delivers four times a year, every three months, seasonally. You get the winter one, the spring one, the summer one, the fall one, you get the idea. At $250 a crate, a lot of people might be taken a bit aback by it, but you need to understand what you're getting in here is incredible value. Other companies uh, online, if you look it up, still may try to do their own version of like a tool crate, a monthly subscription box. You're going to pay that $40 a month and you know what you're going to get? You're not even going to get $40 worth of tools. You're going to get cheap, inaccurate, knockoff items that just aren't overall worth it. $250 is guaranteeing quality. Just like it says right here. Premium quality, not sponsored. I gotta say too, this box is huge. $250, and it's actually a lot bigger than they expected it to be. These labels on both sides of the box were actually uh, put on by hand. If you go and check out Tool Crate's Instagram, Someone actually had to put these on by hand because the boxes ended up being a lot bigger than they expected them to be, which is amazing. Like, who wouldn't want to hear, oh, sorry, the thing I was going to send you ended up being a lot bigger than I expected it to be. That's amazing. I absolutely love that. But we need to get into this. It may already be open because I couldn't help myself from checking. But if you get yours and it's not open already, make sure that you have a Leatherman which is right here. If you don't have a Leatherman, why don't you? It's the best thing to open things with and do everything else. You should carry it with you everywhere. But without further ado, let's get into the actual crate. So, we'll open it up slowly, right up top. And this is your very first look inside the Fall 2020 Tool Crate. We are going to begin right here. We're going to take out the Wera Joker set. I'm going to pack up this box and I'm going to put it over to the side right now. We are, we're going to take from there as we need it. <clears throat> okay, starting off strong, the Wera, I, I think it's Wera. I have never looked it up. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Wera. The Wera Joker. So Wera, Wera is a company that make very high-end uh, wrenches and ratchets and Allen keys and various other things, screwdrivers, things like that. Incredible company, incredible value. I followed them for a long time, and I've had my eye on the Jokers specifically for a long time. So the fact that I just got these in this set is kind of amazing. And what's even more amazing is the fact that they're Imperial. Uh, I know I live in Canada, and I know we use the metric system, but I'm a carpenter, and we don't tend to use the metric system for carpentry here. We still use the Imperial system. Uh, if you want to use metric for carpentry, usually that's over in Europe. Uh, I very much so enjoy, understand, and much prefer to use the Imperial system. So the fact that we got five uh, Wera Joker Imperial wrenches in this set is amazing. We will, uh, let's, let's, let's open it up real quick. We'll give you a quick idea of what it looks like. This is the pouch that it comes in. Comes with a couple of stickers, you know, wear a, be a tool rebel. Great stuff to put on. Oh, and, and Velcro, Velcro patch because there is on the back a uh, thing you can stick it onto. So there's like a nice sticky adhesive, um, which is awesome. Let's just open it up here. So great little storage area for these kind of things. That's adorable. I love this. 
three quarter, nine sixteenths, half inch, three eighths, five sixteenths, all incredibly common sizes. The nice thing about the Wera Joker wrenches is the point of access for them. You're getting like every 15 degrees, you're able to bite onto the top of your bolt, which is amazing. But the real question is, how much do they cost? How much is it worth? We want to see whether or not this $250 crate is actually going to be worth it in the end. So uh, let's go see how much a set of Wera Joker 5 Set 1 actually costs. Okay, so according to, I believe it was Federated Tool, this goes for in and around $110 Canadian as a set. They have it on sale right now, but $110. One item in, and we're at $110 away. $250 Canadian. Keep this in mind. We weren't paying $250 USD. It was $250 Canadian. We're, we're doing great so far. Let's see what else we got. Back in the top, and let's go for this. Uh, back down we go. This is a Crescent Lufkin 16 foot tape measure. Now that is very uh, bright. So let's see, we'll get it over here. Uh, high visibility, no glare. Uh, what What is they call it? They call it night eye. So I guess the idea is that you are basically able to look at this uh, at any time and be able to read it. And I can definitely understand that because this is very bright and very easy to see. 100 foot drop tested, five time blade life coating, blah, blah, all that. Great brand name, Crescent Lovekin. Now, I need to be honest, I'm a Milwaukee person. I love Milwaukee tools. I always use a Milwaukee tape measure. This is one of the things that makes the tool crate great. I probably never would have ever gone and picked this up because I stick to my Milwaukee tape measures that I'm used to, just like a lot of people. We run into, you know, the sort of habits and ways and we like this, we don't want to switch from it. But I'm going to actually give this a shot. I mean, it says it's got a 14-foot standout. This could be great in the air for... Uh, you know, when, when I'm rigging, I do live event uh, and film carpentry, so I'm often in the air. And it's a great chance for me to actually try out these kind of things. And that's one of the great things about the tool crate, is the ability to try out tools that you might not go out of your way to buy. The real question, of course, how much is it worth? Let's find out. Okay, so it's looking like uh, from Lowe's that this goes for about $33 Canadian in and around that range. That's, that's a pretty high price for a 16-foot tape measure. And again, it's something that I probably never would have picked up without the tool crate giving it to me. And I am, without a doubt, going to bring this to work tomorrow, give it a shot, and uh, see how it pairs. Let's see what else we got. Okie dokie. Let's go right here. So another benefit that the tool crate has is while they're sending you incredibly high quality tools, they also aim to always put in a piece of PPE, personal protective equipment, uh, into every single crate. The very first crate, I believe they had, uh, they had a, like a respirator. The second crate, they actually sent in a pair of Isotunes in ear, like earbuds, uh, Isotunes company. We reviewed the link over ear headphones in our last video. Go check that out if you haven't. Uh, but they put those, the, the, the in-ear headphones, which, you know, like $120 value in the one. So it's pretty awesome that on top of giving you tools, they're giving you stuff to keep you safe. And that's what this item is right here. We have the Edge Safety Eyewear uh, Polarized Safety Sunglasses. I got to say, I own a few pairs of them. My preferred safety sunglasses are uh, 3M that don't have... You know, the I'm not actually going to open this all the way right now. Ah, uh, what a, why not? Why not? Open it up. So that don't have this kind of bend in them. They're, they're just a piece that can bend anywhere. But uh, maybe I'll, I'll put them on for good measure. I mean, they fit really nice. Actually, those fit really nice. <laughs> what am I even saying? These fit beautifully. 
Man, I was here ready to say that I wasn't even going to like these. I didn't even try them on yet. Wow. They, they're very comfortable. Okay, I got to admit, those are a lot more comfortable than I thought they were going to be. Uh, again, not necessarily, as far as PPE goes, maybe not what I'm looking for because I have so many pairs of these already, but something that everybody should have. You should have a pair of safety sunglasses because... You know, you might not think about it as you just slip on your normal sunglasses to go outside if you're working, landscaping, or anything like that. You need to have those rated just in case anything happens. And that's exactly what these are. And I gotta say, they're actually really comfortable. I, uh, I like those a lot more than I thought I was going to when I was looking at them in the package. Uh, but, of course, the question is, how much does it cost? Let's find out. Okay, so looks like they retail anywhere from $35 to about $40. That's, that's not a cheap pair of safety eyewear. I mean, you can buy safety eyewear in your big box store for a heck of a lot less than that. But I got to say, I don't know how I look in them. And I might look back at this video as I'm editing it and go, Wow, Jared, you absolute fool. You look terrible. But remember, when it comes to safety, it doesn't matter how you look. It's all about staying safe. So... This, these are actually pretty great. I'm, I'm going to say that that's definitely a win. Let's see what else we got in the crate. Okie dokie. Let's move on to the Ulfas. Okie dokie. Close you back up. Ugh. Okay. Ulfa is a brand that everybody who works with the need to have some type of knife of them. They know what it is. They know what it stands for. And everybody uses one. You don't usually use a knife from another company. Why? Because they never compare to Ulfa. Ulfa has so many different knives, so many different blades, and you can get them pretty much anywhere. They are synonymous with quality. And I gotta say, this is a pretty cool looking one. I have always just used the cheap you know, easy to, to, easy to find anywhere at your big box store, uh, yellow plastic Ulfa knives. I always keep one in my pouch. I have a, a preparedness pouch I bring with me everywhere. It's great for work, but it's great for just bringing anywhere. I'm an advocate that everyone should always be prepared. I'll do a video on that at some point, I'm sure. But, uh, this is, this is amazing looking. It's heavy duty aluminum. It comes with the premium black blades that are 25% sharper, and it actually comes with a set of them as well. So you are getting the knife, you're getting the blades, uh, anti-slip grip, heavy duty body. It's, it's, it's heavy. Like you can feel that. Like when you cut with this, you know that you are getting something behind your cut. That's, uh, that's pretty awesome. I really like this. Of course, how much does it cost? I don't think these are going to say anything now. These are just advertisements. So sharp, your other tools are going to be jealous. That's, I love that. <laughs> that's cute. That's very cute. Anyways, how much does it cost? Let's go find that out. Okay, so the Ulfa knife itself looks like it retails for about 20 bucks. That's on the high end for a knife like this. Again, this is the kind of thing that I probably wouldn't go out of my way to buy. Uh, well, you know, until I use this one, realize that it's so much superior to the yellow one that uh, why wouldn't I buy it? But this is, again, the benefit of the tool crate. I knew that I was spending money I was prepared to, I didn't know what I was going to get, and I was ready to receive anything. And I'm receiving stuff that I already use, but a higher quality of it, which is awesome. 20 bucks for these, about 10 bucks for the blade, 30 bucks for the Ulfa altogether. Again, great value. Uh, I'm excited to use this. This is going into my pouch, and it's coming to work with me tomorrow. Let's see what else we got. Okay, pull that out. All right, so Apex Industrial Fastening Tools. Uh, I haven't actually heard of the Apex brand before. Maybe they're super famous and I'm totally wrong and a horrible person for never having heard of them before, but this kit looks awesome. I mean, it comes in a great little case, but it also comes with such a wide variety of different bits. Like, I mean, you've got your Robertson bits, which, you know, I'm Canadian and Robertson is where it's at. You've got your Phillips bits. 
you've got your flathead bits, but it also comes with Torx bits. And it comes with these sweet little attachments. You can kind of feel them on the side here that uh, they, they cover your actual point. So it seems that if you're doing, you know, work like in this example right here, you're screwing into like a door hinge or something, you don't want to scuff that up with your bit. So this goes over top of it. And it seems that uh, I have a feeling maybe that part doesn't actually spin. Like it basically, it spins on the inside, but this part doesn't. It's very soft. Uh, that's really cool. I'd never even heard of something like that before. So I'm excited to throw that in my toolkit. I don't know how much use I'll have for that specifically, but I mean, this is one of those things where it's just like, oh man, I really wish I had a, oh wait, I do have a because I got a tool crate and they sent me it. But we want to know how much it's worth. So let's take a look. Okay, so it's looking like this retails for about $78, which is very high end. This is another thing. I wouldn't have gone and bought this. I mean, yes, do I need new drill bits? Sure, but I wouldn't necessarily buy this, but that's uh, you know, something that I'm glad I have now. I, I'm gonna test it out as soon as I can, and maybe even do a separate video reviewing the actual capabilities of this with a couple little test pieces, and we'll see what it actually works out to be. But I mean, that's, that's a great kit. I'm excited to try out the bits. Uh, at work, there is a lot of screws and something that we're taking apart right now that an impact driver has sunk way too deep. They're all stripped and really hard to get out. So let's see how these bits stand up to an ultimate test like that. And let's see what else we got in the actual crate. Okie dokie. Bosh, Daredevil spade bits. Ugh. Okay, so very funny story like, I don't know, three days ago, I was saying to my fiance, I had an open package of these and a bunch of them were missing because I like dropped it somewhere and they just scattered and that was months ago and I didn't pick them back up because I was lazy. And I was saying, I was like, man, I really need to go get a brand new set of spade bits. And this, my friends, is the exact reason why when you order something like a tool crate, you don't go tool shopping before it arrives because I got exactly the thing that I said I needed to go buy more of. Uh, that's pretty amazing. I mean, there's, there's not much I can say about it. Spade bits are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, they're used for drilling holes in, in wood, essentially. There's, there's not much more I can really uh, speculate on that. I'm sure there's, oh, you know, super long half hour videos somewhere talking about the difference between a spade bit and a Forstner bit for drilling a hole. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna use one of these to drill a hole. And that's all I'm going to use it for. $55 value on it. I mean, the Daredevil tips, they claim to be a lot faster, uh, which is great. And uh, I, I've used these bits. I love these bits. I was quite literally going to go buy a brand new set of these bits. So the fact that I got it is pretty incredible. I absolutely love that. Uh, we're going to say $55 value. I know that it costs less than that, but let's stick with the actual, the, the valuation, because that's, you know, give it the benefit of the doubt. And let's see what else we got. Oh, 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 we've got the reason the box is so big. And let's see if we can actually get it out. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ugh. Get rid of that box now. This is a Nanook 910 heavy duty protective case. I have always wanted to get one of these. I have looked at them for such a long time, not necessarily for tools. I do a lot of various AV work, um, you know, for cameras, for microphones, for lighting equipment, for various things like that. These kind of cases are awesome. Uh, you know, they're they're waterproof, they're impact proof, and uh, let's uh, let's we were opening other stuff. Let's actually take take this guy out and open it up. There might even be foam if we're lucky, <laughs> or there might be. That is amazing. Okay, so another thing that Toolcrate usually throws into their crates, you can go see all the past crates on their website, toolcrate.co, is a piece of swag, you know, a t-shirt, a hat, something like that. I imagine this must be replaced in that because we didn't get anything like that. The Toolcrate logo engraved right into the case. I love this. Some people might not be into that. I love this kind of thing. It's vain. 
And it's one of those things that are more bragging rights than anything because it's like, oh, yeah, well, look at my tool crate, uh, my tool crate Nanook case. Made in Canada. That's awesome. I love that. Let's open it up. Okay, excellent. So it comes with, I guess it's just like a little test piece. Uh, oh, get a custom foam insert for this Nanook case. $35 off with a promo. I'm not going to show you that code, even though I'm probably going to use it before this video airs. Let's be real. Uh, that That's amazing. Oh, and some great stickers, of course. That's pretty amazing. I, the, the fact that this case is in there, I, I'm blown away. I know for a fact these retail in and around like $90. So $90, $100 plus the foam with a $35 discount. That, I'm, I, I don't even know what to say. I've always wanted to have one of these things and here it is right in front of me with the Tool Crate logo. Let me just close it so I can flash that logo again. Oh, I think I locked the side, there we go. Did you actually, yeah. With the Tool Crate logo right on it, I love that kind of thing. And uh, that, was, that was the last item in the Tool Crate. So let's just regroup them all right now and uh, go over how much was actually uh, how much it was worth, whether or not the $250 price tag is justifiable, and uh, take a final look at everything that we got in there. Okay, and there we have it. This is the fall 2020 tool crate. I am honestly blown away by everything that was in here, the value of it, just I, I'm excited to use, honestly, all of it. I wasn't sure about this, uh, the, the protective eyewear, but that, those are actually way more comfortable than I thought they were going to be. I am probably going to take pretty much all of this to work tomorrow. I'm going to show it off. People are going to get jealous. And you can also make your coworkers or your friends jealous of all of this by getting your own tool crate. You can go to toolcrate.co. I'll leave a link in the description of the video so you can go check it out. And I'm pretty sure I've got a $20 off code for your very first tool crate. Who doesn't love to save some money? You can click on that link, get 20 bucks off, get your very first one. Uh, I believe the next crate is going to ship out sometime in January or February of 2021. You've got plenty of time, you know, save up your Christmas money from your, your whoever gives you Christmas money. If someone gives you Christmas money, I guess that's not really a thing that happens for most of us anymore. Anyways, save it up or your Christmas bonus, whatever. Use it on, on high quality stuff like this. I mean, this is incredible and I can't wait to use it all. I'm so excited. And I want to thank all of you very much for tuning in. Uh, let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think of all this stuff. Are you going to go buy it? Are you not going to go buy it? Uh, what can I improve on? What can I not improve on? This is really the second video that I'm doing on this channel and I would love to get your feedback. Leave a like, leave a comment telling me you love me, you hate me, you love this, you hate this, whatever. Just let me know what you think. And subscribe if you want to see more stuff. And, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.